Dear learners, welcome back. This is the concluding part. In fact, part 3 of the unit cost of production and cost curves. Here we shall discuss about the nature of cost curves in the long run. Dear learners, in the previous video, we had discussed the nature of cost curves in the short run. In this video, we shall discuss the nature of the nature and shapes of the long run cost curves. The discussion of unit 8 entitled cost of production and cost curves concludes with this video. We all know that long run is the period when a firm can sense its plan size and scale of organization. In the long run, all factors are variable. Now the question is how short is the short run and how long is the long run? This depends on the industry and the production techniques used. The period of length will vary from farm to farm. If there are no transactions and no special inputs, then all inputs can be quickly adjusted and the long run is not very long. Dear learners, let us first discuss how average cost curve is derived in the long run. We all know that a particular plant can produce a particular range of output. It is the lowest point of average cost curve beyond whose production is not economic because of operation of the law of diminishing returns which may occur for various reasons. Suppose the demand for a farm's product increases. Now the producer will install a new plant. The farm will be making use of the newly installed plant till it reaches the lowest, lowest point on the average cost curve. This way more new plants will be installed with the increase in demand for the farm's product. Now we will derive the long run average cost curve LSC from the short run average cost curves by fitting a line which is tangent to all short run average cost curves that is SSC curves. The point of tangency must be the lowest point on the short run average cost curve because beyond that the farm will not produce in the plant. This we have shown in figure 8.4. In figure 8.4, LSC is the long run average cost curve. Each point on the LSC curve is a point of tangency with the corresponding short run average cost curve. Therefore, this long run average cost curve is also called envelope curve. The firm will produce OM amount of output at the minimum point E on the LSC curve. If the farm produces less than OM, it is not reaping fully the economies of production and if the farm produces beyond OM, the farm profit will fall. In both the cases, the average cost of production will be higher. Dear learners, please note that in figure 8.4, the shape of the long run average cost is like U. This shape reflects the law of returns to scale. According to this law, the unit cost of production decreases as plant size increases due to the economies of scale which the larger plant size make possible. It has been assumed that this plant is completely inflexible. There is no reverse capacity, not even to meet the temporary rising demand. If this plant size increases further than this optimum size, there are these economies of scale. The turning up of the LSC curve is due to marginal diseconomies of scale when output is increased beyond the optimum size. The long run marginal cost can be derived from the short term marginal cost but it does not envelop them like the LSC curve. The long run marginal curve is formed from the point of intersection of the short term marginal curves with vertical lines to the x-axis drawn from the points of tangency of the corresponding SSC curves and the LSC curve. At the level of output, at that level of output, the LMC must be equal to SMC curve at which the corresponding SSC curve is tangent to the LSC curve. The shape of the long run marginal cost curves has been shown with the help of figure 8.5. In figure 8.5, let us start with the point A, which is a point of tangency between SSC and LSC. 
from this point a vertical line a is drawn a a is drawn on the x axis and it cuts the smc1 at point p similarly b and c are the other two points of tangency between the two scc curves and lsc curve corresponding to these points to these two points of tangency the point of intersection between vertical lines bb and cc are q and c after joining p q and c we get lmc curve at this minimum point c the lmc curve intersects the lsc curve long run marginal cost bears direct relationship with the long run average cost when both lsc and lmc fall lmc is lower than lsc but lsc and lmc both increases lmc is higher than lsc but lmc cuts the lsc at the lowest point the same relationship between sc and mc is true in the short run as well so dear learners this video as well as the discussion on unit 8 concludes with this in the next video we shall discuss unit 9 of the first semester course in economic theory which is basically primarily focused on equilibrium of farms and industry thank you